In this video, we're going to be reviewing the website and the desktop application of pCloud. I'm going to go through all the pricing, all the information, and just a general demo of how you can use pCloud for practical use. Let's dive into my screen and see how pCloud works. Here we are in the website version of pCloud, and the first thing that you'll notice after registering is this little header, which is kind of like a step-by-step -step instruction for what you need to be doing. So if we just click on each one it will say verify your email then upload a file then download the pCloud drive which we're gonna get into shortly and then in four you can see install pCloud on your phone followed by automated uploads and finally invite your friends now after every time you complete one of these steps it will tick off uh, the general task and say hey you, you've learned how to do it. So that's a really nice touch instantly and it's a great way for new users to instantly get up and running. This is the dashboard and on the left you've got the quick navigation right here. This is where you would upload and create your folders and as you can see just like a general desktop and you can see what's going on uh, you can filter the view and uh, sort it by you know newest or descending and stuff like that. You can actually create your own folders um, and name them to however you feel best. This is a really interesting section that I think is a really nice touch from pCloud and this is the public folder. So the way this works is very similar to, uh, well it's actually the exact same, of having your own website. So if you don't want to go ahead and pay for hosting, you can actually upload HTML files into uh, your pCloud public folder area and you would be able to host websites just like that. It says here, static HTML websites. You can embed images and direct links to files, okay? So let's just go ahead and open public folder and I'm gonna go ahead and upload uh, a HTML file that I created. It's not got much on it, it's very simple. That's been uploaded, so I'm just going to close this and as you can see, that file's there. So if I click on it, you can see it's got the, it opens up the code editor, so you can actually edit the HTML code in these documents. And if you wanted to see what this actually looks like in the browser, you would simply select it and it says a whole bunch of stuff, but let's go ahead and do get link and here you can see what you can do with it. Let's go ahead and copy it and just paste this in and there you have it just a little html page saying don't forget to subscribe this is a really cool little feature and it's definitely one of the usps uh, that make pcloud stand out from other storage uh, platforms so uh, we've all been there where we've accidentally deleted one of our files and this will actually let you recover that up from 50 days ago okay next we've got trash and this is where we can delete our stuff let's go to backups this area is all to do with a uh, third-party application so one of them is the uh, standalone application of pCloud again we're going to look at it shortly the next is your mobile app and thirdly is third parties and you can connect these integrations here so if you've got photos in your Google photos you can connect there and it'll automatically sync and so same for Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, and Facebook. It actually doesn't end there because if you click on backup settings, it's gonna take you here and you can also integrate your Instagram account. So again, every single time you post an image on Instagram, it will be automatically uh, backed up to your pCloud. And this is also another uh, nice little add-on which will actually show you how fast their uh, servers are going. So if I just do start test, you can see that my download speeds are about 17 megabytes per second, which isn't the greatest it's not the worst uh, i think there's something going on with my internet connection as well but the upload speed is 148 megabytes which means that you can upload files and really they would be pretty fast next we have the crypto folder this is a more secure area inside pcloud now it happens all the time where where websites that we use get hacked and we don't always know or they don't always know if their sites have actually been hacked and the information like our passwords and stuff like that haven't been encrypted which means that potentially people have our information and they use and, and you know being humans uh, we use the same information all the time for all different websites now the beauty of this is the crypto folder is like a new area a new password 
area in your pcard account which means that this is where you can store really important files and if anyone ever gets access to your pcard account without having this separate password they're not going to be able to access that folder so that's a nice touch by pcloud moving on to the shared folder uh, this is a really cool one as well because if we go into the branding area we can actually upload images videos and all sorts of stuff that we want to share with people and it will create a single url completely under the branding that you uh, that you set inside you can see here that this person has uploaded loads of images and they branded it with their profile picture some little text and uh, a cover picture there and they've got their own personal p cloud link and again you can just share this with whoever you want and uh, whoever has access to the link will be able to download anything you put in the shared area also in the shared folder if you click on statistics it will show you how many people uh, have been going to which of your shared links and it's a really fantastic way just to optimize uh, the links and see um, what's working and what's not and just to give you an idea of what's going on with those links in a traffic basis so it's it's pretty cool that they give you all of this sort of information okay so if you want to download the pcloud application you can do it in a few ways but I'm just going to show you the simplest way of doing it which is going over to the show tab here and clicking on these tips until you find the one that you're after and it will say download P uh, pcloud drive and this will be a download button now I've already downloaded it just to speed things up so I'm just going to open it up and this is what it's going to look like it's going to tell you uh, what plan you're on how much space you've got as well as quick navigation so if we go to back up here you can see that you can control which folders from your actual computer you would like to have automatically backed up to your pcloud account and you simply just tick them and you can do all the different folders on your computer there's no limitations there you can also say hey start or don't start etc etc just like the website version you have all of the different options but uh, snapshotted and actually a little nicer designed right here okay so you got the settings help about okay file requests and etc let's go ahead and go to account and over here you can say open drive now this has opened a folder which is kind of like the syncing folder okay so you can access all your other files right here and as you can see they've got a little green tick next to it which means that it's sunk and it's in the cloud so have a watch of what I do I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it test folder and once I press enter it should start syncing and then if we go to our web browser we should be able to see the folder there so I'm going to press enter and you can see it's now syncing it's got a different icon there that's now finished uploading and if we go over here and we go to our files you can see we've got the test folder here so let's go ahead and open that test folder up and you can see there's nothing in it let's go back to our pcloud folder on our desktop and go into test folder and I'm just going to create a text document saying well we'll just leave it at that new text document and you can see it's already uploaded i'm going to go here and in real time it uploaded now if you want more information on the pricing and the uh, current discount that they're offering go ahead and have a look in the description and click the link i am an affiliate of pcloud this is what supports the YouTube channel. It allows me to spend a little bit more time in properly using the products I am talking about so you guys can make a better decision. So go ahead, click the link in the description, grab your free trial or your discounted version of pCloud. And if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.